guys welcome to cook with Nancy today I'm going to show you guys how to make chicken pie mini slice if you're new to my channel welcome if you haven't subscribed already go ahead and hit the subscribe button right now that way you don't miss out upcoming videos let me show you guys how to make this chicken pie that is freezeable and also the smaller size here to start off with I'm going to add four cups of all-purpose flour in a big bowl and to this we are going to add some salt I'm adding one teaspoon salt one teaspoon baking powder mix well salt you can adjust based on your desire now to this I'm gonna add 330 grams of cold butter that I've cut into small cubes and I've, I have put them in the freezer for 10 minutes mix until it's nice and crumbled in texture like a sand texture you can actually use your hand or use a foot processor so you can use anything and you can see it's nice and crumbled and also it holds the shape now here I have 6 tablespoon of ice cold water. I'm going to add 3 at a time because sometimes it might be you might need lesser or you might need all the 6 tablespoon. So make sure you add just 3 at a time or 1 at a time is also fine. Now go ahead and bring the dough just together. You don't want to overwork with the dough. You don't want to mix them too hard. As you see the dough has come together well and I'm going to just bring them into a soft smooth ball and cover it with the cling wrap. Now the reason we are going to cover it in the cling wrap is we are going to refrigerate at least for 30 minutes and after 30 minutes we are going to take it out from the refrigerator set it aside for 10 minutes before we start rolling it because if it's too cold it will start breaking so we want to just remove it just before we um, start rolling it. Here I have 1 teaspoon butter and 1 teaspoon oil in a large skillet. I'm adding 1 tablespoon garlic finely chopped and to this I'm going to add 1 large onion that's finely chopped saute this until it's nice and gold, light brown you don't want it to be deep golden brown once you see it's nice and translucent you can add one cup of carrot that is also finely chopped like small dice quarter cup of orange pepper you can add red you can add green it's up to you one cup of potatoes that i've cut in, cut into small cubes and salt and pepper as needed here i have one teaspoon chili flakes if you want more you can add more one teaspoon cumin powder and now go ahead and saute this for 5 minutes. We are going to just make sure it all is combined well and absorbs all the salt and pepper and all the spices into the vegetables. And here I have 2 cups of cooked chicken. Now this is a pre-cooked chicken that I had leftover chicken so I am adding the chicken. But if you are using a uh, fresh chicken you want to just cook them, cook the breast or thighs in the water for some time and just shred it and add it. Now to this I have added 2 tablespoons soy sauce. Go ahead and mix them. I have used tamari. You can add any soy sauce. Quarter cup of green peas that is frozen. I'm just going to add that. You can add any combination of vegetables that you like. Instead of chicken, you can also eat, uh, add just, you. if you don't like uh, um, chicken, you can just skip the chicken and just add more vegetables. Here I have one cup of milk. If you don't want milk, you can definitely add water as well or a stock, vegetable stock if you're using vegetarian recipe. If you're doing chicken, you can use chicken stock as well. The milk gives nice that thick consistency, the nice flavor. Now go ahead and mix them and cover this and cook until it gets thick and all the vegetables are just cooked. You don't want mushy vegetables. As you can see, it's almost the water is almost absorbed, the milk is almost absorbed. It's just slightly left behind, but once we turn off the heat, it's gonna absorb everything. As you can see, it's almost everything is absorbed. I'm gonna just turn it off and let it cool completely. If you want to just refrigerate, you can definitely refrigerate. Now here I'm going to roll my dough. As I said, I removed it 10 minutes before I started rolling so that it doesn't break. If it starts breaking, just let it sit for another couple minutes so that it will be fine. The reason it might break is because it's too cold. Now roll it at around quarter of inch thickness. You don't want thicker than that because it will be too heavy. Now I'm going to use a cookie cutter. You can use any size of cookie cutter. Since I'm making a mini size, I'm going to use the small cookie cutter and i'm going to just cut them and take excess and repeat the same if, you, if it is too um, soft then put it in the refrigerator for a while before you work on that two tablespoon of a filling that we prepared it is nice and cold you want to make sure it's completely cooled down place the second crust on top of the first crust and as you can see i'm going to take a fork and press the edges with the fork it gives nice shape and also it covers both the dough together so that when it bakes the filling does not does not ooze out now here i have one egg and one tablespoon of milk together whisk together for the egg wash 
go ahead and brush this generously if you don't want too much of an eggy thing then add a couple more uh, teaspoon of a milk if you if one teaspoon is one tablespoon is not enough and now make a small hole on top of it so that the steam escapes when it bakes that's important and now my oven is preheating at 365 Fahrenheit and I'm going to bake this for 35 to 40 minutes depending on your temperature when let's let's cool down completely and then transfer into a plate now as you can see it's beautifully crusted and crispy crust and inside this beautiful vegetarian and chicken mix i hope you enjoy watching this video if you have any questions let me know i will see you soon in my next video till then take care guys bye